we are here to see the concept practical inverting amplifier op amp here we are going to see how to derive the closed loop gain of inverting amplifier using op amp in practical case so this is the circuit we are considering in the previous video you have seen for the same circuit how to derive the closed loop gain of inverting amplifier in op amp in ideal case in brief if you discuss we have already derived the inverting amplifier closed loop gain using op amp in ideal case is minus rf by ri where rf is the feedback resistance and ri is the input resistance that is connected to inverting terminal of op amp now we are going to see for the same circuit how we have to derive the closed loop gain of the inverting amplifier using op amp in practical case now just in brief discuss what is the difference between ideal op amp and practical op amp okay so we know what are the ideal characteristics of op amp and also we know what are the practical values of op amp okay the major technique we have to remember always when you are calculating the closed loop gain of any applicative circuit using op amp in ideal cases the difference voltage at the terminals or the difference voltage at the input terminals of op amp is zero okay so nothing but the vd value will be zero which means that the two node potentials means the inverting node voltage and the non inverting node voltage is same and the currents entering at op amp terminals are zero nothing but its value is also same this is the case we have remember in ideal op amp so since vd is zero we can apply the virtual ground concept while finding the output voltage of any circuit or the closed loop gain of any circuit using op amp whereas for the practical op amp here the vd value or uh, means the two node voltages is not equal means the vd value is a non zero value so the node hotel potentials at these two points are not equal and also there exists some bias current value which is in terms of microamperes or picoamperes so for the practical op amp there is no applying of virtual ground concept why because the difference voltage vd is a non zero value that's why for any practical op amp applications the virtual ground concept is not applicable so the major difference between ideal op amp and practical op amp in brief is for the ideal op amp the virtual ground concept is applicable in order to find the output voltage or the closed loop gain of op amp circuits whereas for the practical op amp the virtual ground concept is not applicable why because the difference voltage at the input terminals of op amp is non zero this is the difference now we are going to see how to derive the closed loop gain of the same circuit in which the op amp is used in practical case so now uh, let us see how to derive closed loop gain so for the same circuit here the virtual ground concept is not applicable that's why va nothing but the node voltage at the inverting terminal is not equal to the node voltage present at non inverting terminal so va is not equal to vb from this circuit the vb value is zero so the vb value will be zero now we have to find what is the difference voltage vd okay so the difference voltage vd is nothing but difference of non inverting voltage potential to the inverting potential okay so v vd is vb minus va since vb is zero vd value is minus va now we have found what is the input difference voltage present at input terminals of op amp okay now we have to find out what is the node voltage value va so here at this point we have to find out what is the node voltage value va in order to find out the node voltage value va just simply apply kcl at this node potential a so here the entering current to the node a is i and the leaving current from that node is i1 and ib1 
Uh, from the KCL rule, we know that the algebraic sum of entering currents at a node is equal to the algebraic sum of leaving currents from that node. So from this case, we can write I as IB1 plus I1. Okay, so I is equal to IB1 plus I1. Here, from this circuit, we can write I1 equation as VA minus V0 by RF. Okay, so I1 as VA minus V0 by RF. Here, we are neglecting the IB1. Why? Because in the practical case also, we have seen the values of bias currents is in the order of microamperes. So, in that case, you can neglect uh, the bias current value. So, if you neglect the bias current value from this equation, we can say that I is equal to I1. Okay, we know what is the value of I1. Next, we have to find out what is the value of I. From this circuit, if you see, I can write the expression I as VI minus VA by R1. Okay, so the expression as VI minus VA by R1. Since I is equal to I1, simply equate these two values. That is VI minus VA by R1 is equal to VA minus V0 by RF. Now, in order to find out the output voltage, what is the unknown voltage in this equation we have? That is VA value. This VA value is nothing but the difference voltage VD. From the basic definition of op amp, the output voltage is nothing but the multiplication of gain into input voltage. So the gain of the op amp we are considering is a open loop gain. So AOL into the input voltage is VD. Okay, so V0 is AOL into V0, what is the value of VD, which is nothing but minus VA. From this equation, we can derive the VA value as minus V0 by AOL. Now, substitute this VA value in this equation in order to obtain the closed loop gain of inverting amplifier using op amp in practical case. Okay, if you do the mathematical simplification then you can derive the closed loop gain of practical op amp in inverting amplifier application as minus AOL into RF by RF plus R1 into 1 plus AOL. This is how we have derived the closed loop gain of inverting amplifier circuit using practical op amp.